The long-awaited JNC-8 guidelines for hypertension have arrived. The panel focused its recommendations on thresholds and goals for treatment of hypertension and whether certain drug classes improve health outcomes versus others. This video will give you a quick run-through of the nine recommendations made by the panel. The first recommendation is a game-changer. In the general population for folks older than 60, the goal blood pressure is less than 150 over 90. If, however, the blood pressure on treatment goes lower, such as less than 140, and there are no adverse effects, treatment does not need to be adjusted. Recommendations 2 through 5 give a goal blood pressure of less than 140 over 90. Numbers 2 and 3 state this for the general population for folks younger than 60. Recommendation 4 gives this as a goal in patients over 18 with chronic kidney disease, and number 5 does the same for patients with diabetes. Recommendation number 6 endorses initial drug therapy with thiazides, calcium channel blockers, ACE inhibitors, and angiotensin receptor blockers for the general non-black population, including those with diabetes. In the general black population, again including those with diabetes, Recommendation number 7 states initial treatment should include a thiazide or calcium channel blocker. Recommendation number 8 states patients with chronic kidney disease over 18 should be on an ACE inhibitor or angiotensin receptor blocker, either as initial or add-on therapy. And lastly, recommendation number 9 outlines the steps of initiating and up titration of medications. If blood pressure goals are not met within a month of treatment, the medication dosage should be increased or a second drug should be added from one of the above classes. Repeat with a third drug as appropriate. ACE inhibitors and angiotensin receptor blockers should not be used together in the same patient. Further steps to reach blood pressure goals can include non-recommended drugs if there is a contraindication or if more than three drugs are used. A referral to a hypertension specialist may be indicated in difficult to control or complicated patients. Keep in mind that lifestyle modifications such as salt restrictions, healthy diet, exercise, and limiting alcohol intake have a major place in the current guidelines and should continue to be emphasized.